All right, how's it going, everybody? Uh, this is Mr. McGrath, just kind of giving you guys a little update on what's been going on and what's going to be going on here in the future. Um, so currently, right now, we are getting ready to start setting up online classes. Uh, the biggest thing for that is you need to make sure that you're in Google Classroom. Uh, very simple, very easy. Uh, make sure you're paying attention daily. Um, I'll kind of break down things as we go along here with this video. Uh, next big thing, what you need to be successful. Number one, you need to make sure you have a Chromebook. If you haven't gotten a Chromebook yet, you need to reach out to me or reach out to the administration because they've been offering Chromebooks to um, seniors, juniors, and now sophomores, which is everyone that's in our class because we don't have any freshmen. Um, so make sure if you don't have a Chromebook, you reach out to me or reach out to administration so we can make sure you get one. That way we can make sure that you're ready to go. <clears throat> so uh, you guys are probably wondering how how's this class going to work? Um, it's going to be pretty simple. It's going to be just like we did before. Um, we're going to start off the day with uh, vocabulary. Um, so the way that will work is I actually have Google Forms set up to where it will actually be labeled 6.1 vocabulary. Um, it will have the word and what you're expected to do is look up the word or use the uh, notes that I'm going to post as well and make sure you put in the definition in there. Um, it's nothing hard. It's the same thing we've been doing before, only this time instead of having to write it, all you have to do is type it. Um, obviously, make sure you're using good grammar, you make sure you're using good spelling, things of that nature. It shouldn't be anything too crazy. Um, also, that means that the following day we'll also have review questions. Again, it won't be anything crazy. It'll be our normal three to five, um, three to five review questions. Nothing too crazy, nothing that you guys shouldn't um, have seen before or expect. Um, so you do those before you get into taking notes for the day. Now, when it comes to notes, it'll be pretty simple. I will post the slides um, just like we normally do. So the slides will be up. That way you can go through and take your notes on there if you'd like. Um, I'm not requiring you to write down notes. I would suggest that you do write notes that you have a better understanding of what you're talking about. Um, there will also be video to go along with it. So, you know, our normal day we have lecture. Um, so lecture will be done by me sitting just like I am right now and I'll be going through the slides and the slides will be on the screen as well. Um, that way if you guys need a little bit more explanation of what's going on, what things mean, you'll get it from me. Um, it shouldn't be anything too crazy with that. And then at the end when you're done watching the video or you're done going through the notes, it's pretty simple. You're going to go through, take a uh, quiz. It's, it'll say it's a quiz, but it's really not. Um, <clears throat> and fill in your success criteria, just like we do normally. So you'd go through, put in the success criteria charts um, and things of that nature. Every couple of days, I will actually give a true quiz um, where I'll have a couple questions on there to see where we're at. Again, same thing that we normally do in class. Uh, see how you're doing, see where you're at. Um, and then we'll kind of go from there. Um, and obviously it'll help you guys figure out, hey, do I need to go back through a review a little bit more stuff or not? Um, when it comes to review, our normal like review days, those uh, will probably become more so like doing quizzes. Um, or excuse me, not quizzes, uh, doing Quizlet. I'll put the questions on there um, and try to get things set up for you guys from that standpoint. That way you guys can do it on your own because uh, I know Kahoot. You know, I would have to start a game, things of that nature, and that's not really possible right now. Um, and then also a quizzes is the same thing. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and make it a quizlet, um, give it to you guys, so you guys go through and review things of that nature. Now, the other part, we are still having tests. Now, the thing with tests is they are no longer worth 100 points, mainly because they're all open note from now on mainly because I can't tell if you guys are using notes. I can't monitor that. So you guys are gonna be taking tests or open note from now on. It's pretty simple. Make sure that you take notes or do whatever you need to do when you're watching a lecture, things of that nature. Uh, that's why you know it's important to have a Chromebook, number one, so you can watch it, and number two, have papers so you can write down some notes if you feel like you need to. Also, if you do write down notes and you send me an email of those, I will give you bonus points because that means you're going above and beyond what I'm asking. So keep that in mind. Um, and again, this should only take about 30 minutes every day. Um, like I said, I'm not asking for a whole lot of your time. Uh, 30 minutes should be pretty straightforward. I mean, it's less time than we usually spend in class. I know people got things going on, you know, helping around the house, helping with mom and dad, um, grandma and grandpa, those type of things, or whoever their legal guardian is. Um, you know, th times are a little tough right now. So again, if you need help, if you need anything, make sure you contact me. Um, that is also a new thing that we're setting up now with the district is office hours. So basically, if you need help from me, 
I've set up office hours that start at 10 a.m. and end at 2 p.m. So you have a four hour span there. I didn't wanna do it super early in the morning because I know most of you are probably sleeping in. Um, so 10 a.m., you, you guys will be able to access me for video calls, anything like that, if you need to speak with me about anything you're confused on from that day or the day before. Um, next big thing <clears throat> um, is your work is actually due at 5 p.m. every day. Um, you know, come in, get a get your Chromebook, do your daily work, get it submitted. That way you get your grade and then you're done for the day. If it's not done by 5 p.m. that day, it's late and I'm going to take points off. Again, it's the same idea of showing up to class, being there, get your work done, call it a day, be done. It's nothing too crazy, nothing too hard. Um, and again, I'm also available for email, even if it's past those office hours of 10 to two, I'm still available uh, via email. I usually will reply pretty quickly, um, as long as I'm not busy doing something else. Um, for example, after that two, after you know our normal school day ends at like three o'clock. Um, so, you know, ask Conquista, ask some of the other kids, you know, I did, I do respond pretty quickly to emails, uh, mainly because, you know, I got a smartwatch, which tells me I got emails, and things of that nature. So I like to keep up to keep up to date with you guys, make sure you guys know what's going on. Um, again, I don't know how long this is going to last. Um, and I'm not exactly sure when we're supposed to start. Um, administration is, you know, slowly getting stuff rolled out to us um, as things kind of progress here. Um, you know, there's still no word about how long this, as of right now, the lockdown or lockdown of Ohio for schools, um, we're supposed to be back on April 6th, but right now we're kind of still up in the air about what things are going on or if that will be extended. Um, obviously if that continues on, then I will obviously reach out to you guys and make sure you guys know what's going on. Um, but for the time being, uh, we will be back on April 6th and if anything changes, I'll let you know. Um, and again, if you have any questions, issues, or concerns, feel free to uh, reach out to me via email. Um, and hopefully we get things figured out pretty quickly here. And like I said, enjoy the lockdown, enjoy quarantine, be safe. Um, you know, keep your social distance and make sure you're staying healthy. Um, again, if you need anything from me, make sure you reach out and I'll see you guys on Google Classroom. Make sure you're getting your work done.